gentlemen, and welcome to our very exciting B2B educational webinar today. As we are meeting UCAM Universidad Católica de Murcia, and I'm honored to introduce to you our guest, Ms. Afia, and she is the Enrollment Advisor and Marketing Coordinator from UCAM. And I'm Jones, Marketing Specialist from Net24, and also your webinar host today. so much, Jones. Um, okay, so I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Alfia and I'm an enrollment advisor and uh, marketing coordinator at UCAM, especially for the Eastern Europe and Central Asia and of course Spanish market. Oh. Welcome to UCAM in Universidad Católica San Antonio de Murcia. Um, Today we'll be talking about the admission process, about our programs, about the university itself, and also, of course, how to cooperate with us as an agent. So um, let me introduce our university. So first of all, the university um, uh, is a private Catholic university with, 20, uh, with more than 25 years of history, uh, which was founded in 1996. And uh, currently we have more than 21,000 students, uh, both national and international. Um, out of this number, uh, about 12% is international uh, internationals. So um, we have two campuses, Cartagena in Cartagena and Murcia. As you can see in the first on the first photo is the main campus of Murcia. And the second one uh, is the Cartagena campus. So it's quite new, but um, we are expecting more buildings, more facilities, because uh, at the moment it's um, um, it's built it like it's built about uh, 60, 70 percent. So um, and the main campus is on the monastery um, Los Geronimos Monastery. Uh, territory, which is uh, uh, which is of, of the 18th century um, national monument, this one. So um, uh, we have also uh, an bark church uh, inside, and um, actually this church is very important for the Murcians because um, in uh, because in uh, when it was um, uh, founded. Uh, it, it, it was designed by the Murcian people, by uh, the Murcian uh, artists and architectures. And um, after that, in 1996, we founded the university uh, on this territory. So especially in, in this building, we have administration offices. So um, we have library, we have um, faculties and so on. And, uh, and it's uh, teams up with uh, it teams up with uh, modern buildings um, where the classes are taken usually. Okay, so um, at the moment we offer five English bachelor of degrees, and I would say that we have one more from this year, which is veterinary medicine, which has been approved, and uh, this is great news. Um, and we have uh, about eleven English master degrees. Uh, later on, we will we will uh, check the list and also prices. So, um, as I mentioned before, when it was founded, uh, we have two campuses. We have uh, eleven thousand, almost twelve thousand bachelor students, three thousand master students, and um, also here it mentioned eleven percent, but I think now it's already twelve percent. It's a good number actually because um, we have students from different parts of the world, from different countries, of different cultures, nationalities, uh, religions, and we are we are focused on internationalization as well. So, um, of course, that is why we, we offer programs in English. Um, but also we offer in Spanish, of course. So for for those students who speak Spanish. Uh, even uh, there, there are foreign students who speak Spanish and they would like to join uh, this program because they are, they are more affordable um, because of the teaching staff and, and so on. 
Um, okay, so as you can see, in total we have 32 bachelor's, 52 master's degree, and also, of course, we offer doctoral research lines. We have vocational programs, uh, which, which last two years, uh, and other postgraduate programs. Um, okay, so uh, as I mentioned before about the internationalization, um, we, we, we have international offices. As you can see uh, on the bottom part, um, which offices we, we already founded. And um, here you can see uh, where, is Murcia, where, where is Murcia located and Cartagena. So Cartagena is on the coast and Murcia is about 30 minutes from the coast. And um, the closest airport is Alicante. And also we have uh, in Murcia, we have uh, our own airport, but there are a few flights um, because it's quite new. So as, uh, as a private non-profit university, uh, we, we have a clear mission is to provide students with um, high qu uh, quality education uh, uh, together with uh, uh, theoretical and practical knowledge. So, um, okay, about the rankings. Uh, this is very important part because uh, we have a lot of uh, questions uh, from students who uh, actually um, would like to know about the ranking and it's very important for them. So uh, first of all, I would like to know that Newcom is characterized by uh, offering students in a personalized quality education based on um, combination of theoretical practical knowledge and of course, as well as an education based on values rooted in the principles of uh, Christian humanism. Uh, later, I will explain uh, what exactly we are doing. So this model has been recognized by uh, National Agency for Quality Assurance uh, and Accreditation, and which positively evaluated all official UCAM programs and also as well as well as by international rankings uh, such as uh, you can see the European teaching ranking the world university ranking QS and multi rank so according to QS we can see that uh, we have in total we have four stars but from this year we are expecting to have five stars but uh, at the moment we have four stars and um, five stars in, in the category uh, internationalization, sorry, inclusiveness and teaching. So um, I think this is a great, great indicator. And also um, according to the university teaching rankings, we are um, 10th uni uh, uni uh, University of Europe for uh, quality of education and uh, tends for health, health, um, good health and well-being. And for the, well, here in Spain, it's 11th, okay? So um, also, I would like to mention that um, UCAM is um, one of the three um, um, best uh, private universities in Spain. So um, this is quite, um, excellent uh, point okay so regarding the programs um as i mentioned before we uh, we have programs taught in spanish and in english in both languages um for english programs we require official um english certificate which is can be uh, toyful ielts cambridge and so on so and then i will i will show you the list of the acceptable um, certificates. Okay, so let's start from the um, um, from the preparatory programs that we have: Spanish preparatory, English preparatory programs. Usually, the students take these programs um, before they join the bachelor or master program. In case, in this case, for example, if uh, they would like to study in Spanish or there is a program. Uh, of uh, his or her interest, but it's not taught in English, but only in Spanish. So in this case, we offer our students, our future students, 
uh, Spanish preparatory program and then uh, for the next year to join a program in Spanish. So the because also in Spain it's very very useful to uh, to, to have uh, any any level of Spanish because uh, for the practical classes or for the internship or in case they would like to stay in Spain. So it's uh, quite recommendable. Uh, recommended. So, um, in case of English preparatory program, for those students who didn't, um, who haven't uh, reached the B2 level, which is required um, for the majority of the programs, so they join this program uh, for one year and then uh, they continue for for the uh, for bachelor or master program. So for the bachelors, we have faculty of business and legal studies, physical activity and sports sciences and health sciences. Here, I would like uh, to add the veterinary medicine, which is just, this is, this is not updated, the brochure, but because we just know that um, the veterinary medicine has been approved both by uh, autonomy community and also um, the, the ministry so uh, for this this year will be the first year for the veterinary medicine and we already have the facilities and um, uh, teaching staff and, and everything so for for the for the practical classes and, and so on so we have dentistry in both campuses murcia and cartagena it's, it lasts five years uh, these fees are per year Okay, so we have business administration, physical activity, and psychology. Psychology in 2019 was the, the first program in Europe, so um, that is why we have very, very high demand on this program, and usually we, in, in early um, dates, we already full um, on psychology and also on dent dentistry. Right, right now, we are full uh, on both programs, but we created the uh, waiting list so the other students they can can have opportunity in case uh, we have cancellations and so on so um regarding the master programs uh, as you can see we have um, business and legal studies physical activity sports sciences social sciences and communications here um, we have uh, the, the the program uh, lasts one year usually especially programs in English. Um, we have only few programs in Spanish, which last, which last two years, but the, the, the rest of the programs last one year. And here the prices per, per year, but well, this is since it's last one year, it's for the, the, the cost of the program. So, um, Ah, yeah, I would like to mention that for, sorry, for the bachelor programs, we usually have one intake, which is in autumn, um, but sometimes we receive some exceptions, like um, for winter uh, intake, but we, we need to confirm it with the faculty, uh, because not all the faculties accept students um, for the second semester. So usually we try to offer um, from the beginning, from the first semester, because also students uh, can adapt easily uh, and also um, meet other students. Then in the second semester, it will be um, more complicated and uh, maybe they will, will, will feel themselves uh, a bit lonely. So the adaptation will will um, will pass uh, easily, I think. So. so the master programs, uh, as you can see, we have only one intake since it lasts only one year. So November, some program starts from January. Um, yeah, and this high performance sport as well. So also I would like to mention that uh, in case uh, since we are private university we are based on the um, our programs are based um, on the um, uh, minimum uh, number of students in this case we got the confirmation for the program for the program opening and in case uh, we don't have sufficient number of students uh, at the certain moment um, we we can postpone uh, the starting date for the January or, or later, yeah, about 
approximately January. So that is why it depends. But usually these are the starting uh, dates. So um, we try with the help of we, with help of the agencies, we try to promote all the programs. So we have so we could have um, enough number of students. Um, I would say minimum so that we can cover all the expenses for the materials, teaching staff, and so on, okay? Um, okay, these are programs in Spanish, bachelor programs in Spanish. So as you can see, we have, this is not the full list, but we have, uh, as you can see, we have a lot of programs in different faculties, law, economics, business, physiotherapy, um, medicine, etc. cetera. Um, these are taught in Spanish, and some of them are taught in English as well as you as you already saw seen. Um, regarding the master degree in Spanish, um, there's also not the full list, uh, but the main programs, and uh, we have such um, such um, terminology, uh, which is official and own title program. So you can offers a lot of programs which are which are UCAM's own programs. It means that this is the professional program, um, master program, I mean, um, because uh, it's registered with the ministry but not released by the ministry. Um, it means that this um, usually in Spain, this master degree won't give you access to a PhD program. But uh, in other countries, it might, might give you access. So it depends on which country. And of course, um, what else? Of course, it's, uh, it's accepted in the labor market because uh, being as a professional master degree um, is accepted in labor market. And um, of course, it's more for, for enrich your, your curriculum and to have more knowledge in this sphere, but not for those who, who are seeking um, uh, to uh, study the PhD program in future. And also um, uh, the post when, uh, when the official university master degree is required. So uh, you, you need to uh, take it into, into account, okay? So I will show you which, which programs are our own titles. As you can see here, this one, you come degree, okay? So as you, oh, sorry. As you can see, for example, Master in Europe, European Union Studies and Human Rights, it's you come own program international relations as well okay and you can see um to, uh, intolerant studies and global peace and what else and masters in sport management in madrid i didn't mention that we have an office in madrid as well uh which is uh focused on sport and on master programs so um in case anything is not clear, I, uh, I can explain more about the own titles, okay? So, um, okay, about the doctorate programs, we offer um, in four fields, like a computer technology, environmental engineering, health sciences, social sciences, and sports sciences. So, um, of course, um, I would like to mention that uh, one of our priorities is to the promotion and encouragement of research activities. So um, this facilitates um, the research researchers to participate in international research projects. So, and um, of course, uh, um, to transfer the knowledge and technology um, and so on. So, um, in addition, the university makes um, good efforts to increase the employability of recent graduates. So at the, at the moment, um, um, according to the last indicators, the percentage of students who find a job after graduation was uh, 86%. Of course, we, we have our department of labor placement, labor of work and uh, internship placement. And um, I would like to mention that uh, Thanks to 
um, to the programs, uh, to the plan plan of studies um, designed for, in order to, um, uh, how to say, in order to, for example, um, to be on, uh, on, to be up to date with the mar market, uh, mark, uh, yeah, labor market. And also each program has uh, its a mandatory internship so um, thanks to this, um, our students um, can, um, can practice their theoretical skills um, in one or another company. So um, also very important is that uh, we, we have our UCAM language school uh, for, for, for international students especially because we, they are very interested in learning Spanish, uh, improve their English or learning other international language. And, um, um, and also um, the pathway um, programs that I, as I mentioned before. And what is very, very important is such as uh, programs such as dentistry, psychology, um, they include the practical classes in Spanish with local patients. This is very important. That is why they are offered, uh, they are offered into the, uh, the plan of studies, uh, Spanish classes. So they are mandatory, of course, and um, by the third year, for example, on dentistry program, they need to reach a B2 level. Uh, of course, to access the program is not required at the moment, but then they have to reach B2 level by the third year because they will be working in our dental clinic, um, practicing in our dental clinic with local patients. Okay, so. Um, also, of course, we offer summer winter programs and other short courses in English and Spanish. So first of all, the summer program usually starts, as you can see here, period of tuition, late May, June, July, early September. But usually we have, um, we, have we, we promote this program for early September. Why? Because a lot of, um, for example, dent the dentistry students or uh, from other programs in Spanish um, starts in September or October. And they can take two, three or four weeks of the summer program in order to adapt themselves, in order to familiarize with the Spanish culture, Spanish language, in order to, um, yeah, in order to meet new, new peers, and it's like something like introduction um, or adaptation for the students. So that is why it's quite popular in early September, then uh, more than in winter or May, June, July, because in this time students prepare uh, the documents, uh, passing the all the steps of admission process, and then they come in September and they start this program. And of course, uh, we have short courses um, in different fields, as you can see here. And um, it depends um, because we, as I mentioned before, we, we have minimum number of students for each program. Uh, um, it includes uh, short courses as well. And mm -hmm. of course, um, in case an agency um, uh, promote, um, about 10 or more students for short course, we can um, design a special plan um, and also uh, with a special prices um, for each student um, according to the program. So um, that is why uh, I think you should be motivated to, in case anyone is interested in short course, you can be motivated uh, to bring more students for the same course. Um, and send us um, a group of students. So this is uh, would be great because to create a plan um, of this course uh, for one or two students, uh, it's difficult, okay? So um, 
UCAM has over 450 international strategic partners, uh, several major universities. You can see Berkeley, Stanford, uh, Università de, de, uh, degli Studi di Bologna, etc. So um, we have a quite good number of strategic partners. And of course, we uh, encourage our students um, participate in different, uh, for example, Erasmus programs, um, different exchange programs, uh, as well as staff, our staff. So, um, um, and of course we, we offer, as I mentioned before, we offer programs and fields and, and these universities as well, uh, their partners from sport to business, legal studies, uh, from medicine and health ser uh, services to engineering education or communication. So, of course, um, each university offers, they, uh, uh, has its own offer and you, you need to check uh, whether this program or these courses are taught in the you know, uh, partners university. So, um, um, as you might know that um, as a private university, we, um, we have a very a small number of students in, on each program, a limited number. Not only the minimum, but also limited number of students, because um, uh, we are um, we value personal relationships in the education context, and um, each student uh, is given a personal tutor as well. So um, this means that classes. Um, uh, we have reduced science classes. And of course, it's uh, an advantage because um, uh, there, is a pers uh, there is a personal um, approach um, uh, for, e for each student. So this is very important. And um, okay, now it's time to talk about evangelization. So why? Because uh, as you know, we are uh, the Cat Catholic University, and um, of course, the university has organized several international congresses with the Vatican. And what exactly um, does it mean? Because um, the university involves uh, many students as volunteers in collaborative projects even on an international level in the in such uh, poorest areas as uh, Asia, Latin America, Africa, and so on. So during this um, more than 25 years of history, the university allocated 236 million euro, euros to humanitarian needs. So, um, and this is uh, one of the values and missions of the university. That's why it's very important to mention. But of course, um, we have students from different countries, of different religions and cultures. And not only they study uh, on academic level uh, these values, but also they study humanitarian values uh, in general. So this is... Um, this is the mission um, of the Catholic University. And one of the most important uh, and interesting parts is that we are officially a uh, university of sport in Spain. And we, we're also um, always joking that sport is in UCAM's DNA. But um, Th that is a true actually because uh, among the 19 um, federated teams sponsored and managed by UCAM, uh, there is a UCAM basketball team, which is professional basketball team that competes in the Liga Indesa. And moreover, the university, um, uh, the institution has been the winner of the Spanish University Championships for uh, six consecutive years. So we also sponsor top athletes, uh, which include 22 medalists at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Of course, you will ask whether we provide the scholarships for scholarship for the students. Um, I would say that uh, this process is quite competitive, but um, 
we have a special website where they can send their curriculum in order to apply for the scholarship and to try why not maybe they are very good in in some some kind of sports and sometimes also we have the uh, partners um, which can offer um, uh, for example practicing sport in the partners club or yeah something like that so um sometimes we invite students for the test so they can show their um, abilities their skills but uh, i would say that um, for the agencies um, it shouldn't be um, strongly promoted because because uh, it's very competitive and very complicated process and of course, also for agencies, it will, would be in, of their interest that um, uh, scholar, um, since this is this can be a scholarship, the commission is not paid on the scholarship. So of course, um, I need to mention it uh, for the agencies. Um, okay, so um, our facilities. Um, as, as you can see, we have a lot of facilities for the clinic, TV studio, courtroom, psychology laboratory. Uh, we have also hospital simulation room, which is very, very interesting in this one because uh, they, um, they are tested in, in the, uh, let's say, in, in the real situation um, with the patient. Um, uh, that is why it's called simulation room and after that um, of course the professor monitors the process and then um, identify the, the mistakes and then they discuss uh, in the debriefing room um, the experience so they learn how to um, act um, in a hospital in one or another situation so um anatomic digital table also one of the modern um, uh, um, facilities and as i mentioned before we have dental clinic in both campuses murcia and cartagena so this one this one on the photo is about 1700 square meters um so they of course they are uh, they practice their skills uh, under the supervision of the professors, uh, but with the real patients, local patients, so uh, this is quite a great uh, opportunity. Also, we have sound studio, radio studio, pharmacy simulation room for pharmacy program, so etc. We have a lot of research rooms. Um, and this uh, investigation research rooms, so this is uh, in, including this is not all the facilities that we have. I mean, on the photo, um, we have even more. So uh, one of them, uh, the newest uh, UCAM facility, which is UCAM High Tech. Um, this is actually um, uh, kind of business incubator, um, which is arranged, arranged to develop projects related with health, sports, and nutrition. Um, let's say entrepreneurship, startups, and business innovation. So this is especially interesting for master students and who, who are looking for the who are looking for the investment for their startups and so on. So this is a quite great opportunity. Um, about living in, in Murcia, I would like to say that Murcia in, is um, is a warm hospitality and safe environment. Um, it's quite um, good connected with um, with uh, other cities such as um, Alicante, Sevilla, um, Granada, and so on. And of course, um, this uh, city is very, very affordable. So as you can see, cost of living, according to our calculations, is about 500, 550 um, euros per month. So this is in case 
uh, they re uh, share a flat with other students. But of course, we have all our own housing department, which is um, uh, which offers um, our own res residency and other residencies um, in Murcia. So this is uh, quite um, uh, convenient service because students can uh, can ask our department uh, for more information about the residencies, and they don't do not. They, they will be um, more, um, I, I think, safe and also sure about the, their choice because um, then you don't know if you share a flat, you don't know with whom you are going to share a flat and where and so on. And this like more secure. So um, this could be a good opportunity for the students. And we, each year, we open more and more um, residences. So close to the university or um, a little bit, uh, maybe not, not so far away, but uh, yeah, a little bit about, about maybe 30 minutes away from the campus uh, if they are going by tram or, or bus, okay? So as I mentioned, we have housing department as I already mentioned. So, this is the map there you can see uh, the closest airport is Alicante and of course Murcia but usually students come from Alicante uh, because they have a lot of flights options so then uh, we can explain how to reach the campus okay so uh, here I have a video I don't know if we have time for the video wake up yeah. not knowing what kind of choices you're going to make during the day what are you going to eat for breakfast? What purposes are you going to fulfill? But without a doubt, there are certain questions that come to you as great decisions that will define you forever. Choosing a university to become what you want it to be is one of the most important decisions you ever make. Getting out of your comfort zone will make you grow as a person and improve yourself daily. It will help you to meet new friends from different countries, to share your experiences, and above all, to continue discovering yourself. This is why thousands of students from all over the world come every year to study at our university, placed in the beautiful city of Murcia. Our campus is located in the historical monastery of Los Ramos, built and founded in the 17th century. It is one of the most cosmopolitan campuses currently operating in Spain, as well as one of the European universities with the best teaching quality. UCAM has at its disposal several facilities with the greatest innovations concerning technology and science so you can develop your maximum potential Murcia, which is located in the southeast is one of the spanish cities with the highest number of sunny days per year Take the next step and start leading your future on the ground. So let's discuss uh, why um, why you come, why Murcia, and why Spain. So, but let me. I don't know why it doesn't work. Okay, now, okay, perfect. Okay, so why Spain? Why Murcia? As I mentioned before, the um, 
Murcia is quite affordable uh, city, but what is very important is that the Murcia is the seventh largest city in Spain. And it's a capital of the region of Murcia and um, has well-developed infrastructure and transport systems. And it's quite safe city uh, and that can be easily explored on foot. So um, as I mentioned before, they're well connected to the main cities. Um, the average temperature in Murcia is uh, 18, center, uh, 18 um, degrees with mild winters and hot summers. Um, <clears throat> the city center is uh, 35 minutes away from the uh, natural beaches, uh, mountains and the countryside. So um, let me mention uh, again about the expenses that um, it's about 500 550 per month uh, that a student can cover um, the expenses on accommodation food and leisure activities of course depends on the lifestyle of the student uh, but this quite like minimum um, uh, amount of the expenses and why should they come to Spain because uh, Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world and it's also a doorway to Europe and uh, for geographical political and cultural reasons it's uh, among the European countries Spain receives the third highest number of foreign students per year and um, in our Spanish universities in general um, ranked among the best universities and top 10 business schools in the world. Uh, also, our Spanish degrees are recognized in all EU member states and um, held in good repute in Latin America and USA. Thank you so much, Jones, and for, for inviting me and for hosting this uh, session, this webinar, and I will be glad to answer other questions in case uh, you, 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 you do have any questions. So let me know and um, we will be in touch. So thank you so much and have a nice day, everyone. Thank you so much, Apia. Thank you so much, agency. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.